God our Father, we thank you for creating the universe, especially this beautiful sun that is setting. And in the creation account, in the book of Genesis, you created everything, especially the animals and the plants. And above all, you created the human person in your image and likeness. You create the human person who shares your divinity, who shares your own image, who shares your own face. We pray that all human beings on earth may share that fraternity, that solidarity, that brotherhood as brothers and sisters in Christ. Because we are from the same origin, from the same origin of you, God our Father. And we are all brothers and sisters on this earth. We pray that we may continue taking care of all creation, of all the animals that God created, of all the things that God created, but above all, that we may continue taking good care of each other as brothers and sisters and as friends, as brothers and sisters with the same blood. May we continue caring for each other, loving each other, forgiving each other, journeying together as brothers and sisters with the same Father, who is you, God, our Father. We pray, especially in the moments of tensions, of difficulties, and of wars, that we may be reminded always that we are brothers and sisters of the same Father, and we have Jesus Christ as our brother. God bless you, dear friends, from Jerusalem. But you know what, dear friends? Sometimes we take good care of other things and we forget taking good care of our brothers and sisters. We may clean up the garden. We may build up everything. We may care for other things. But caring for the human being is the most important thing that we are invited to do. So dear friends, just as we need to take care of the environment so that the environment can continue taking care of us, we need to remind ourselves that the first thing to take care of is the human being. Because when we take care of the human being, then the human beings will take care of us just as we take care of the nature and the nature keeps taking care of us so dear friends let's put the first things first the first things first is first of all recognizing god himself who is the creator of everything and the second thing is recognizing each other as brothers and sisters and taking good care of our brothers and sisters every day, every moment, always and every year. We never and we should never get tired of taking good care of each other. We all need to be supported. Let's continue supporting each other always in every moment of our lives. That, In that case, we will receive the benefits that will come from the care that we give others because the more we give the good things we give to others those are the good things that return to us if not now afterwards so let's continue sowing those good things by taking good care of our brothers and sisters and soon or later we shall reap the results dear friends we are planted in this world in order to bear fruit and we can bear fruit when we continue cultivating each other taking care of each other watering each other feeding each other if one has a garden and does not care for it there are no fruits that come up and you will continue blaming the garden but we as human beings are invited to continue nurturing each other taking care of each other feeding each other and watering each other with good things planting good seeds and patiently awaiting for the fruits and for sure soon or later we always get fruits from our brothers and sisters around us this is the best gift we can do to each other, to continue sowing good seeds of peace, good seeds of goodness, good seeds of love, of kindness, because that's what nourishes our hearts 
with whatever is good and therefore good fruits will come out of that good nourishment out of a good heart that has assimilated the seeds of goodness and it's from the heart of goodness that we shall be able to speak good things is from the heart inside of goodness that our actions will be good that our actions will always do good to us and do good to others so my brother my sister every moment we have an occasion to plant good seeds to the hearts of others because we cannot give what we do not have and in order to give what is inside us which is good we have to plant good seeds but also water it and take good care of it my dear brother my dear sister do you take care of your heart do you continue planting and nourishing and feeding your mind with good things do you nourish your heart with good things do you nourish your thoughts with good things when we nourish our hearts, our lives with good things, then good things will begin happening in our lives and the lives of our brothers and sisters. May every day, every moment, may we choose to feed our minds, our hearts, our lives with goodness. And may we share always the goodness with everyone. And when we feed our minds and hearts with goodness, may we continue bearing fruits of goodness. That's the best gift we can give to each other. Fruits of goodness, always and everywhere. Blessings once again from Jerusalem. And God, remember that God gives us a chance and that chance is right now to do good. I cannot say that I will do good tomorrow. No. The good I should do today, I have to do today. And that is the best gift that we can share with all goodness done today and hey, not tomorrow and let us always look for every occasion to do good to be good to plant those seeds of goodness every occasion even right now let's look for those beautiful occasions to do good and to speak good because we never know how the fruits of this goodness will strike and reach we are what we are because of the seeds that were planted in us by our fathers, with our friends, with our mothers, with our all the people that we met, with the situations, even those which were challenging, but especially the good situations that we met in life. That's what formed us. So if you want to receive good things, let us allow every situation to form us. And if that environment, that situation is a good environment, then easily it will make that the fruits that we produce are all good fruits. But if it is a negative one, for sure we shall have to learn from that negative experience and it will teach us a lot. But it will be easier if we try to focus on whatever is good so that good things can be able to be shared by all the people that we encounter in life. Yes, every situation, even the most painful situation, has a lot to teach us. Let's be humble enough. Let us see what we learn from such a bad, challenging situation. Because in every situation, God speaks to us. Let us thank God for every situation. And just pray for patience and courage. That even in situations of tensions, in wars, in families, we may find the meaning and the reason why such situations happen in our lives and we just pray that these situations however challenging they may be that the lord may give meaning to them and turn them into blessings courage my brother my sister in whatever situations that you may be going through the lord is working out everything for your good and my good just be patient just keep trusting him just keep throwing your hands and surrendering to him and he, he knows why things are going on the way they are going on and he's handling everything because he is the master of everything all we need to do is to do the best we can as human persons and leave the rest in his hands let's surrender when we do give the best we do the best we can 
we have to leave everything in God's hands. And he knows why he thinks go on the way they go on. And my prayer for you, my brother and my sister, is that may the Lord turn all your tears into blessings. May he turn all your pains into blessings. May he wipe away all your tears. May he help you in every struggles that you may be going through. And may he also help you rejoice in every moment of your life, knowing that you are never alone and knowing that God our Father is there always watching over us because there's nothing that escapes his eyes. There's nothing that escapes his mind. He's there watching over us and he knows that we come from him and we are returning to him. We just have to hold on to him and trust him who is driving our lives and who is guiding us in every situation, including the situation that you and me are going through right now. My dear brother, my dear sister, courage in everything. God bless you more and more and bless every good work of your hands. And may he turn every moment into blessing. Even that painful moment, even that challenging moment, may the Lord turn it into blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And here comes the sunrise. Beautiful sunrise where we thank God for the night that we have gone through. The Lord who has made us go through the dark moments, uncertain moments, moments that we don't see very well, but we trust in His care. He has woken us up alive with the sunrise, hoping that the sun warms our hearts and our lives to continue being sunlight for others and showing others the way. It's beautiful to thank God for His blessings, especially the blessings of the sun, and the praying that you may continue being brothers and sisters. This rising of the sun helps us, warms our hearts puts our hearts on fire and shows us the way on how to be good and to do good to our brothers and sisters and how to be peacemakers wherever we are, sharing all the blessings that we have received. As we thank God first of all, and we thank our brothers and sisters and we thank God for the gift of creation and everything that exists. Blessings from Jerusalem in this beautiful Sunday morning when we are thankful to God who has woken us alive. May we be alive also and share our life to all the people that we meet today. With all the goodness that comes from the Lord, with all the warmth that comes from the Lord, let's be there for each other as brothers and sisters. Blessings.